from the grocery and I'm going to put up all my groceries. So kind of a late grocery trip, but I guess when I'm at it, I get, I'll go ahead and do a grocery haul. And put all this stuff up. So I got some orange juice. What, let's see. Some watermelon. Okay. Some cherries, some bananas. I have some shrimp. I get the shrimp out of the fresh, out of the fresh fruit, the fresh meat department. But I got some shrimp, some cheese, some hogan, some lunch meat, and I got some beef smoked sausage. Cause like I seen this, um, I seen this recipe on Facebook, and I think it was one of those nifty or thrifty, one of those cooking web like cooking pages. And they had like sausages, they had um, shrimp, they had some potatoes, some corn, and they like put it in like a little foil packet and made almost like the like a seafood boil or broil almost. So I think I'm gonna make that. That's why I bought that when I got. Some baby spring mix. Dang it. I'm gonna get the half and half, like half spinach, half spring mix, but whatever. So I got this baby spring mix. I got some baby carrots. I love carrots with ranch. And I like um, to cook carrots as a vegetable on the side. I got an onion, some broccoli, some broccoli, a tomato. I can eat tomatoes all day, like tomatoes And I got some corn because of that um, recipe that I was telling y'all about. I think I'm gonna make it with this. And a pineapple. Because my husband loves pineapple. Like, I swear he eat pineapple all day, every day. And we were buying all these fresh cut up pineapples um, out of Publix. And they are co they cost a little bit more. Like, they were about $8 for a big thing of pineapples. Which is kind of good for the convenience. But I thought these were on sale. So I might as well buy a whole pineapple, cut it up myself. And I got, like, some potatoes. A few potatoes to cut up and put inside my boil. So, that's everything I got. It was a really small haul. Also, uh... Oh, I almost forgot one thing. I got these peach lifting iced tea with peach. These things the bomb.com, so I got some of those. And I think that's everything that I got. So I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff up and that's it. So pretty much now that I've put all my groceries up, I can go kick back a little bit and then I'll get started on cooking me some dinner, which I don't think I'm really going to eat much for dinner because I'm really not that hungry. So I'm probably going to um, just like prepare something for my lunch tomorrow and then in the midst I might eat some because I'm thinking I might start cooking some chicken breast so that I can make a salad for lunch tomorrow but i'm not sure so now that i've done that i'm going to oh excuse me but anyway now that i've done that i'm going to go and put on my house shoes because i like i like putting these shoes on when i get home from work these little things right here they're a little dirty but but anyway so I like putting on my house shoes when I get home from work because these floors can be kind of hard on you. So I put on my little shoes and you know, it is what it is. I can chill for a minute. Look at this. It's just moving. Moving chaos. Still stuff everywhere. But anyway, like I said, I can put on my little house shoes. I can chill a minute do whatever it is that I wanted to do I want to wash these little bit of dishes I had started working on so I'm gonna wash these and I guess you guys can join me
So because I'm a terrible vlogger and I didn't record the rest of my late night nighttime routine, I kind of got a little caught up in my phone and talking to my best friend. So now I'm cooking my dinner and it's really late now. So it's about nine o'clock and I'm just now starting to cook um, my, look at me. I'm just now starting to cook my chicken because like I said, I'm not really gonna eat tonight. I'm just really cooking some chicken so that I have some for tomorrow so I can put it on my salad. What is it doing? Hold on. So anyway, this is what I what I'm making now. Let me see if it's good actually. Mmm. It's actually really good and this season really good. I put let me show y'all why I season my chicken whip. So you're in my pantry now. I season my stuff with mainly these two seasons for sure. So this is Tony Sachery's original Creole season. And I got this from Sprouts in Memphis. I haven't found the Sprouts here yet, but I don't know. I think they might sell this anywhere, but it's like simply organic garlic pepper. So my stuff be a little spicy. Those two mainly are the two seasonings that I use. And like I said, that's it. And a little bit of olive oil. And that's how I cook my chicken. And I'm going to put it over some greens. And some tomato. Can't have a salad without tomato. Like, when I say I won't eat a burger or a salad if you don't have tomato on it. Like, it ain't happening. Not happening at all. So, I got to have my tomato. Put this stuff back. But... All in all, even though I'm a late night person and I'm up and I need to be asleep because I need to be getting ready for work tomorrow, I had a pretty good day today. I got a chance to go to the grocery store and get that stuff that I showed y'all. And I had a chance to sit down, relax a little bit. I even had a glass of wine that I forgot to watch the cook. So let me get that. I had a pretty cool night, although it's late and I probably should have been doing all this like three hours ago. But who says you work eight hours a day? Who says there's anything wrong with coming home and relaxing a little while before you get started? And like I said, I'm not eating this tonight anyway. So it's not hurting me by waiting because I'm going to just like do what I'm doing now. And eat little pieces here and there but I'm not gonna actually eat like a full dinner this chicken is good mm -hmm. let me see so today I was having like a real like meltdown whatever you want to call like real coming to life with myself moment at work like I was just sitting there and I was realizing like I don't want to do this I don't want to do this for the rest of my life like I want to be able to work for myself like it's no fun having to be on someone else's schedule at all times like I have to be at work pretty much eight to five most days so I'm grateful that I have a, a steady shift job and because I work at a bank I get good holidays off and I got a pretty good schedule for a work schedule but it's still a work schedule so therefore I'm just like really not feeling the fact that I have to go to work for somebody every day like I never thought that I wanted to be an entrepreneur like I kind of aspired to be a nine-to-five worker until I became a nine-to-five worker like it's I'm over it I'm really over it by now because I'm just really feeling like by the time I get off I went to the grocery store like like I told y'all seven times now but so by the time I got off I went to the grocery store I got home put the groceries up I started talking to my best friend we talked for about 35 minutes or so and I kind of laid down on the couch 
Had a glass of wine. Got on Instagram, stuff like that. It's so late, so quick. And honestly, if I wanted to be, if I wanted to get ready for bed and like get a full night rest, I should have been showered and in the bed already. So all of that, I'm just saying that a nine to five seems like the life, but <laughs> once you've done it for a while, I'm kind of like over the nine to five now. So where do I go from that? Like, I just want to be at home and go to work when I want to go to work. Or not going to work at all, honestly. I, I told my husband, I'm like, I want to be a stay-at-home wife right now. Not a stay-at-home mom, just a stay-at-home wife. Like, I just will cook and clean up and then go shopping. That'll be the life. So, anyway, enough of my rant about not wanting to be a worker look at my braids coming down so my braids are like extra long i don't know if y'all can see that like how long it is these extra long braids my friend did for me and they've been awesome because i've had them for about how long i think this is almost this is going on one week of having these but these this type of hairstyle typically doesn't last very long but i made it work because i just start um, making that bun and it kind of gave it a different look so I really like that so I was doing a wig review which I'll probably be doing on tomorrow but until then I'm gonna wear my hair like this to work again tie it down take a shower and then I'm be getting ready for bed that's like a full work night for me like I decided I was like okay I want to be more consistent with my channel I know I keep saying this stuff but I was thinking, I'm like, why not just record what I'm doing tonight? Because day to day, I'm just getting off of work. And sometimes I have some exciting days. I actually go out and I actually shop or I do some things after work. And then sometimes I do nothing after work. Like I just come home and sit on the couch, watch TV. Speaking of TV, I haven't even cut my TV on today. Like that's how zoned out I've been since I got home. I haven't even cut a TV on at all, so let me cut my TV on. I know I be saying a lot, sorry. I just be rambling. But anyway, I think that I'm going to start to call this vlog an end right now and get ready for bed, take a shower, um, eat some more of that chicken in there. Other than that, like this is a typical night. A typical work night for Robbie. This is what my typical work nights look like. They're pretty unorganized. I'm not that all together nightly routine person. I'm just kind of all over. But you know what? I'm working on it. So I'm trying to gather a night routine so that I can be more organized with my time and make the best of my time so that I'm not rushing in the mornings. But I think that that's going to be the end of this vlog. So I will see you guys in my next video. Oh shit. <laughs> Bye.